Mexico is a state in the southwestern United States. It is one of the mountain states of the southern Rocky Mountains, sharing the Four Corners region of the western U.S. with Utah, Colorado, and Arizona, and bordering Texas to the east and southeast, Oklahoma to the northeast, and the Mexican states of Chihuahua and Sonora to the south. New Mexico's largest city is Albuquerque, and its state capital is Santa Fe, the oldest state capital in the U.S., founded in 1610 as the government seat of Nuevo Mexico and New Spain. Number 3. Creepy Claim to Fame New Mexico is known to have some spooky places. The Hearstein Museum, Hotel Euclid, and the Union County Courthouse helped Clayton, a town 200 miles northeast of Albuquerque, earn the title of Scariest Place in New Mexico. The creepy claim to fame for Clayton is outlaw Black Jack Ketchum. Our great-great-great-great-grandfather was the sheriff back in the day that actually captured Black Jack Ketchum, as well as hanging him, said Matthew Medina. One of the last hangings that actually happened in the state of New Mexico from a notorious train robber. The outlaw's head snapped off during the hanging, adding to the city's spookiness. It's pretty neat. Unfortunately, it's that way, but it's pretty cool to have family history, said Medina. Clayton was named the scariest town by New Mexicans. Number 2. Dawson Cemetery Dawson is a ghost town close to Samaran, but there is very little left now. Well, apart from the cemetery, which also just so happens to be one of the most haunted places in New Mexico. Dawson originally sprang up around a large coal mining operation that was run by the Phelps Dodge Corporation. However, the town and the mine were shrouded in death and destruction so much so that it almost seems fitting that only the cemetery remains. In 1913, a massive explosion killed 263 men going down in history as one of the worst coal mining tragedies in American history. As if that was not bad enough, in 1923, disaster struck once more at the mine and claimed the lives of all 121 remaining miners. With such massive tragedy, it is no surprise that there are ghost stories here. Common reports include spectral lights believed to be the miners' helmet lights and various apparitions wandering among the graves. Number 1. Schaefer Hotel Many people are put off of the Schaefer Hotel and Mountaineer because of the swastikas carved into the facade. However, it is important to remember that the symbol was 3,000 years old and this building was constructed long before World War II when it came to symbolize such horror and atrocity. If anything should put guests off spending the night, it is not the swastikas but rather the fact that this is one of the most haunted locations in New Mexico. The Schaefer Hotel was so haunted that it has actually hosted paranormal conferences in the past. Guests often report seeing flashing lights and strange shapes and shadows flitting around inside.